Hi everybody, Patrick over at Petrie Ford, and on the uh, stuck in the corner of our pad here beside our showroom, we've got a 2016 Mustang GT Premium. Uh, it's not the track pack, this is the premium edition, so it's got the fancy pants interior. Um, basically everything a Ford GT would normally have, uh, with a few more bells and whistles. Um, that said, it's not the track pack. Uh, track pack has a few extra goodies as far as uh, go fast stopping power and some handling options. Um, but we'll go through this particular vehicle, we'll go over the changes between uh, 15 and 16, there aren't many, um, and we'll go from there. So like you're looking at here, you're looking at a black on black hard top. 16 Mustang GT um, Signature accents obviously same as 15 the nice LED gills in the headlights there We've got some uh, nice LED fog lights LED turn signals. Where's my finger right there? <laughs> 18 inch 10 spoke rims Nice lip spoiler in the front I'll show you some interesting trivia with the rear here. Uh, so as you know, the V6 is the base motor, the EcoBoost four-cylinder is the middle of the line motor, and the, well, five liters, the GT. So if it says GT, obviously we're dealing with a bad boy here, the five liter. Um, if it shows just the horse, that's the EcoBoost. And if it shows just the horse with the three stripes in behind the horse, that means you're dealing with a V6. Ah, food for thought, a little bit of trivia for you anyways. But we got a rear view camera. Uh, kind of an integrated deck lid spoiler. It's not exactly a spoiler. It just kind of angles up, right? Um, the uh, the track pack does have a spoiler or spoiler delete, however, however you want to do it here. Um, rolled aluminum exhaust tips. Your reverse lights integrated in here. I've saw, I've seen some really cool upgrades with that light online. Uh, of course, parking sensors. I like how they're nice integrated, and you don't even notice them on the vehicle. Um, as far as changes go on the outside, there's only one change, aside from a few color changes, but uh, usually color changes are just changing the title of the colors themselves. I don't really notice a much color difference um, between like um, dark side black and black shadow, for example. But the one addition for 2016 in GTs only, um, this is the hood vent, but on both sides, uh, this side and this side here, just above this little vent part, that's an LED turn signal light in incorporated into the, uh, the vent. Um, kind of a neat little indicator for the driver. But going inside here, so it is started already. Uh, put nice push button start. Um, again, I saw a really cool upgrade to, to uh, change this button into the um, the GT350 button. Um, there's a really hard way to do it that Ford wants you to do it. Um, there's a really easy way to do it that uh, I seen a video online do. I don't suggest doing it, but it seemed like it took two seconds. Um, so just going left to right, we'll go through the options here, but basically we've got three position memory seating. Um, obviously power door locks, power windows, power uh, mirrors as well. we got your headlight controls with your fog lights and dimmers. A little storage compartment. you got your trunk hatch here. Uh, we've got a manual adjustment for the steering wheel right here, if I'm pointing the camera right. You just push that down, angle your steering wheel appropriately. Um, we do have uh, two analog gauges. Obviously, we've got our speedometer and tack uh, with a couple physical gauges like your oil uh, temperature and your uh, and your gas. Basically, everything else is in between the uh, the two analog controls there. Um, so we can just see going through gauge mode here. If I'm doing it right, <laughs> you can see our tire pressure. We can see a bunch of uh, parameters with the vehicle. Um, there's even track apps. It shows you your uh, accelerometer. It shows you all sorts of really neat things. Line lock, lap timer, launch control. So this has basically everything that you need. A line lock for drag racing, uh, launch control again, all that fun stuff. I mean, it makes burnouts and launching your vehicle very easy. Um, obviously, it's pretty hard on the car, but um, lots of cool stuff. It's a video in itself going through all these um, going through all these options, but. Uh, pretty robust neat features um, the GT is the only vehicle that has the launch control and the line lock just so you know um, if you plan on using those get the GT version uh, cruise control of course we've got our sync options and when you have the fancy 8 inch touch screen you'll know that you with paired with uh, sync you have over 10,000 voice commands to control your climate your cell phone your navigation and your audio um, of course audio controls here uh, moving over to our center stack, um, the um, if you had the, the the 
the track pack um, or the EcoBoost with the track pack. Um, one of these uh, vents would be reserved for um, a gauge. Uh, EcoBoost, for example, has your boost gauge built within. Um, you'll notice briefly here, this is Sync 3. This is the newest edition of Sync. Ford's latest edition. There's going to be an upgrade coming out shortly, which will let you ha use um, Apple uh, CarPlay and uh, the new Android uh, proprietary car software as well. Um, both built into the system, so no matter which phone you have, you can use their proprietary software or the Sync system, which basically is a nice uh, concierge in between those two pieces of software. So whether you want to get techie or not, this thing will do it all. Um, if you want to use the proprietary software, that's available as well. Uh, because this is the premium, we've got fancy contoured leather seats. Recaro seats are available for a premium price, about $1,500. Bucks. Um, these are air conditioned. I don't know why I'm not doing that right now. So obviously wherever we see the perforated leather in the center here, cold air gets shot up through it. Uh, they're heated as well. Um, actually, I'm wondering here, do I have a heated steering wheel on this one? No heated steering wheel on this particular one. Um, neato uh, toggle switches though. So if I hit the, uh, the toggle switch, I can turn the traction control off. I can have track mode, regular mode, sport, comfort. There we go, normal. Um, we can turn traction control on or off altogether. So really neat toggle switches um, that they've incorporated into the system. It is an upgraded uh, 10 speaker audio. Uh, it's an upgraded Sony speaker system, I should mention. Um, one USB port, one 12 volt. We've got one USB 3 port, which is good for um, obviously charging your phone quick like, as opposed to uh, waiting for it to charge or sometimes just maintaining the battery, depending what you're doing inside the car. Um, changes over last year. So, like I said, there aren't too many changes. One of the changes I already pointed out, which is the, um, well, you can see kind of the uh, the hood vent there. Uh, there's a little light in there for your signals, which is neat. Um, the other change, which is kind of funky, um, when you do seat position memory, obviously it remembers your seat. Um, it remembers where your mirrors are, so it'll do your mirrors. Um, it'll also, this, uh, this year in 2016, it'll remember what ambient lighting system you had um, when you hit the save button. So um, ambient lighting is the color of uh, LED lights that are glowing in the footwell, um, in the map pocket. Um, I believe there's a little lighty thing in there. Um, and then there's some in the back seat as well. Um, oh, and in here too. Basically, this shines in inside the cup holder as well. So it remembers what color, what lighting system you had, and it, uh, it'll put it into the memory as well. Um, I do have a sheet, though, from Ford, which goes over specifically what's changed. If you guys want to hit pause when I have this sheet out, that might uh, give you a good read on everything. But here's what we got. Um, so basically, like I said, Sync 3, the integrated turn signals into the, uh, into the vents and... Um, <laughs> the ambient lighting change all they've done really is they're adding uh, different ways to uh, customize a vehicle graphics wise <coughs> excuse me um, they changed some colors around uh, they've added shadow black they got rid of normal black they look the same um, they've added a 19 inch nickel wheel option to the per GT performance package which is normally a black rim so they're giving you a little bit more options with rims not everyone likes the black um, and then beyond that, we can just see uh, there's different um, cross branding with packages. So you, now you can get a California special um, on the GT Premium. Um, you can get the Pony package on the EcoBoost. You can get the interior and wheel package on the EcoBoost. So basically, they're allowing a cross a, a crossing of uh, of different packages with each other. So people that want you know the GT Performance pack on a convertible, now they can do it. Um, so a lot more options with packages um, and customizing your Mustang exactly how you'd like it if you're ordering one, um, which is kind of how I. I would do it I think um, but I mean in general um, really nice brushed aluminum all the way around um, you still got your classic Mustang badging um, that's pretty much it I mean um, we're looking at the window sticker backwards but um, 47,000 Canadian is what this goes for there's always a couple of rebates going on whether on it's on financing typically not as much on Mustangs but there's always a couple bucks off these anyways as far as rebates goes so make sure you check in with us on that beyond that though there's your 2016 Mustang GT. Like I said, this is a premium edition. Subscribe and stay tuned for more. We'll get some uh, F-150s, Edges, and Escapes up soon. And uh, if you have any suggestions, questions, or anything else, please leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Take care, guys.